right? So now we'll solve a numerical which is based on the concept of conjugate of complex number. So let's see. So here the value of alpha plus i beta is equal to 1 upon a plus i b and we have to prove that alpha square we have to prove that alpha square plus beta square into a square plus b square is equal to 1. Now guys the question is how to get this answer because in the proof that we want the square of each term that is alpha square, beta square, a square, b square whereas in the question the given term is alpha, beta, a and b so it does not have a square term. So question is how to create that square term. So guys it's quite simple okay. So what I am going to do is for this given term I am going to find out the conjugate of the number. So once I get the conjugate after that I will multiply the equations and we can get the answer very easily. So, so the given term is So guys, I call this equation as equation number 1. Now, we have learned in the conjugate of complex number that the conjugate differs with the original complex number only in the sign of imaginary part. So, if I want to find out the conjugate of this number, it will be alpha minus i beta and that will be given by 1 upon a minus i b. And I will say this as equation number 2. So guys, here if you want to derive this relation, still we can derive. So what you have to do is, here from the right hand side, you have to remove this complex number from the denominator by taking the conjugate and multiplying numerator and denominator with that conjugate. So I will multiply numerator and denominator with a minus i b. So by doing that, the complex number from the denominator will be removed and you will get a new complex number which will be in standard form and by comparing it with left hand side you will get value of alpha and beta and then you can get the value of alpha minus i beta and if you check it then you will get the same value so instead of doing that I am just using the concept of conjugate directly over here so by the concept of conjugate here the value of alpha minus i beta is 1 upon a minus i b. Now to get this result what we will do is we will multiply equation number 1 with equation number 2 and whenever we multiply any two equations we multiply left hand side with left hand side and right hand side with right hand side. So by multiplying left hand side with left hand side of both equations we will get alpha plus i beta into alpha minus i beta. So, by the formula of a square minus b square equal to a minus b into a plus b, here we will get alpha square minus i square beta square. Next, we will do the same process on right hand side. So there we will get 1 upon a square minus i square b square. So what we did here is, we have multiplied equation number 1 with equation number 2. Now guys, here i square is minus 1, we know the value. So minus minus plus, so that will become alpha square plus beta square. And here we will get 1 upon a square plus b square. So the value of i square again minus 1, so that is a square plus b square. So guys, we got the square now. And to get the answer, what I will do is, I will just shift this denominator on the left hand side. So that will become alpha square plus beta square into a square plus b square equal to only one remains on the right hand side. And guys, that's what the result is. So here we have proved the given result by using the 
concept of conjugative complex number. So I'm sure you understood this video and you want to learn more videos on engineering mathematics. So stay tuned with Ikeda and you can log into Ikeda to get more videos of mathematics and complex number. Thank you very much.